Welcome to Playful English Proficiency with Adalette and Kim, the podcast that's going to put some pep in your ESL step. I'm Adalette. And I am Kim. In today's fast-paced world, it's no secret that many of us experience stress on a daily basis. And it's also no surprise that English has a rich variety of phrasal verbs that can help us express and cope with that stress. That's right. So sit back, relax, and let's explore five of the most useful phrasal verbs for talking about stress. In this episode, we will focus on stress out, wind down, calm down, take off, and get over. Let's start with stress out. When was the last time you were stressed out? Um, traffic jams stress me out. I really don't like getting stuck in the morning traffic. Yeah, that's the worst. What do you do to cope when the traffic just won't move? I take a few deep breaths and remind myself to stay calm. And then I turn the radio up really loudly and sing along. <laughs> that's a great way to calm down. Speaking of which, that is our next phrasal verb. Can you give us an example of how to use calm down in a sentence? Sure. I had to calm down before trying to ride a unicycle while juggling pineapples. That's an interesting example. Do you have another? I had to calm down before doing a performance in front of a large audience. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> Let's move on to wind down. What do you like to do to wind down after a busy day? <laughs> I still can't get the image of you balancing on a unicycle with tropical fruit out of my mind. Relax! Ah, ah, ooh, okay, okay, okay. I usually like to read to help me relax. Anything from fantasy stories to the news. No, wait, that last one just stresses me out. <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic way to wind down. How do you wind down? I like to do yoga. Have you tried it? I have tried it, but it wasn't very successful. I thought yoga was supposed to calm me down, but it turns out clearing my mind just stresses me out more. How can I clear my mind when I'm falling over? <laughs> right. Maybe yoga isn't for you. And next up, we have take off. Have you ever had to take off from work to reduce stress? Yes, I had to take a few days off last year after a particularly stressful writing project. It helped me recharge and come back to work feeling better, invigorated, reinvigorated even. Taking a few days off can certainly do the trick. Finally, let's talk about get over. Can you tell us about a time when you had to get over a difficult situation? It was hard for me to get over it when the South African women's cricket team lost in the final of the World Cup. But it's all part of being a dedicated fan. Just like in life, setbacks are inevitable and everybody has their ups and downs. The key is to keep supporting them through thick and thin. You really haven't gotten over it, have you? No comment. Is that all of them? Yes. Time flew right by. It was great to see some of these phrasal verbs in action. Remember, it's important to find ways to reduce stress and take care of ourselves. And getting the hang of phrasal verbs will definitely help you relax. You couldn't resist saying that, could you? Nope. <laughs> now it is time for us to wind down for the day. In the next episode, we will look at five more stress-related phrasal verbs. Thanks for tuning in to Playful English Proficiency. Bye! Bye.